Hello, we're going to look at the PowerShell help system here. It comes to the rescue when you need help. Start off here by running get help. Okay, that flew by really fast. A little hard to read as you can see. Let's try to make that a little easier without scrolling around. So let's pipe that to more. Kind of handy, right? Here we go. Now at least it's not flying past. However, there is a better way to even run that commandlet. Just do help here. And there you go, it helps an alias. So less typing is good. Let's try using this on an actual command let. Let's say we need some help with uh, the get date. All right, so we get details of the syntax here and so forth, the description. That's handy, but I may actually want an example of how to run this without searching online or otherwise. So let's add the dash examples parameter. All right, this is uh, getting us some real action I can use right away. For example, getting a date hint here or some other formats. Let's try one of those out. There we go. So in a short time here, I was able to get an example out of the help system without searching online. Now, what if I want more details about get date? I can add the detailed parameter. Can get details on this here. Again, we can use a space to jump through and read through this help. If we're done reading this, we can hit Q here or Control C to jump out of that. What if I want all the examples and the details? All right, we'd add the full parameter. Plenty of details here. Excellent, I'll set with that for now. All right, what if we need to look for details online for get date? Let's add the online parameter. I'll open up the web browser here and connect us right up. And then we could read details here online or share this link out with someone who might need help. You can also get help with uh, concepts inside of PowerShell beyond just command lits. For example, if you're writing a PowerShell script or module and you're trying to remember some of the commenting formats that are allowed, for example, the synopsis or dot synopsis or description, we get down here, you can find the comment based help keywords and get some details about which ones are permitted. This could be useful when you're trying to write something and remember what's permitted and not. Of course, we can get help on help itself here, running help against get help. And finally, because things change on the world of IT and computers in general, it is helpful to be able to actually update the help system. And doing that requires running as a administrator. So we'll go ahead and execute that. And this may take a few moments to run as it goes online to pull down the latest PowerShell help modules. Okay, we're all done. We may have to periodically do that, or if you find a command that's missing a help, that's a certain way to get that updated. So hopefully here you've had an opportunity to find a way to get help without searching online and find quick examples without uh, having to poke around elsewhere, or even in cases where you don't have access to the internet on a system and need to find some quick help within PowerShell. Hope it helps and saves some time.